Hi, I'm Erica from 5littlemonsters.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this crochet stitch. It is called the block or bloke stitch. I'm not exactly sure how you say it. I've seen it pronounced both ways, but it is spelled B-L-O-Q-U-E, not block B-L-O-C-K. That's a different stitch, but this one is B-L-O-Q-U-E. The stitch is a really solid, dense stitch. You can see it doesn't have any holes or anything, and the stitches are worked in an interlocking way so that they're worked into a previous row, so you get this kind of staggered, interlocked effect. The sample that I have here in front of me is a baby blanket that I just finished and have the pattern for on my website. And I use Red Heart Super Saver stripes in the retro stripe colorway for this pattern and I think that this stitch looks really cool in the self-striping yarn because you kind of get that variation of color so it really brings out the the stitches that are worked in the different rows so that you get kind of that staggered color and so I think it's a really cool stitch to use with self-striping yarns but it also looks really good in solid colors as well. To make this bloke stitch or block stitch you are going to need a couple of things that you would typically need for um, a crochet stitch. You're gonna need some yarn and you're gonna need a hook. Because this is just a sample that I'm doing, it doesn't really matter what yarn you're using. This is some of the Red Heart Super Saver Stripe that I used in this blanket that I just had left over. It's actually some that I cut out because I was trying to get the stripes to match up um, correctly, like to stay in the right order. So when I switched skeins, I cut some of it off so that my stripes would match up. So I have this piece left over, so I'm gonna just use this for my sample. Um, so Red Heart Super Saver is a medium weight, number four weight yarn. And so whatever yarn you choose to use, you're going to want a crochet hook that is a size that works well with that yarn. So I'm using this I crochet hook. And to start out, you're going to want to start with a multiple of four chains plus one. So I'm gonna go ahead and chain 17. So four times four to get 16 plus one to get my 17. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. For this stitch, you're going to need to know three stitches. You're going to need to know double crochet, half double crochet, and chain. So for this first row, we're going to use half double crochet stitches. And in this pattern, your turning chain is going to count as a stitch. So in this particular case in the first row, we're going to skip these first two stitches and those two chains are going to make our first, are going to represent our first half double crochet. So then we're going to work a half double crochet in this next chain. So yarn over, insert it in the hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. So we've got our first half double crochet, but then also this two chain that represents a half double crochet. So now I'm going to do the same thing in the next stitch. We're going to do one half double crochet there. So we have two half double crochets and then our beginning chain. Now we're going to chain two. And I'm going to skip the next two chains and I'm going to work a half double crochet in the next two. So skip these two here, yarn over, insert my hook in the next stitch and work a half double crochet. And then the same thing in the next. And you're going to repeat that, two chains, skip two, two half double crochet, two chains, skip two, two half double crochet until you reach the end. So we're going to chain two, we're going to skip the next two chains down here, and then we're going to half double crochet in the next two stitches. So one, two, and then repeat that again, chain two skip two, half double crochet in the next two, whoops, and then that's going to get us to our last chain. We have one chain left, so we're going to work a half double crochet in that. So because we use this beginning chain as our first half double crochet, we're, we have an extra 
half double crochet on each end. But the center section, the pattern is the chain two space and then the two half double crochet, chain two space, two half double crochet. Okay, so this pattern is a two row repeat starting with the second row. The first row, the foundation row, is different than any of your other rows. From here on out, we're going to be using mostly double crochets, except for at the beginning and the end of our rows. So because this one has these uh, half double crochets at the beginning, we're going to start by chaining four. So one, two, three, four. And this is going to count as our first half double crochet plus our first chain two. We're going to turn and then we're going to double crochet into these two stitches that we skipped, the two chains that we skipped in the first from the beginning chain. And you're going to work over this uh, two chains here. So that's going to kind of become enclosed in your double crochet. So you're going to double crochet in that first chain and then double crochet in your next. And you can see how that has now kind of enclosed that, that two chains. And now we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to chain two and we're going to skip these two stitches from row one and we're going to then double crochet in these two chains. So chain two, skip the two half double crochets and now double crochet in these two chains from the beginning. Double crochet and double crochet. And you're going to continue to repeat that two chain, two double crochet in the previous row until you get to the end. So we're going to do that one more time on this two chain, skip these two stitches, and then double crochet in the two chains from the beginning. And now we're to our last three stitches here. So we're going to chain two, skip these two half double crochet here, and then we're going to work a half double crochet, not a double crochet, but a half double crochet into your turning chain. So right here. And you can see by working that half double crochet, you get that same height versus the double crochets that are going down a row. Okay, so now we're going to move on to row three, which is the other row in our repeat. So for this one, we're going to only chain two and then turn. And that just represents that half double crochet. And now we're going to work two double crochets into these first two stitches from row one. So double crochet into that half double crochet and then double crochet into the next stitch. And again, just like on the row before, you're working over that bar so that those two chains become hidden inside of your double crochets. So then you're going to chain two and skip these two double crochets and double crochet into these two from row one. And just repeat that, just like you did on the other row. Chain two, skip the two from row two, and then double crochet into the two from row one. Chain two, double crochet into the two from row one. So and then this is where you had your turning chain four. So you're going to work your ending half double crochet into the second chain from that chain four. So go ahead and half double crochet into that turning chain. And that finishes your row three. So that's your repeat row two and row three. You're going to for row two, we're going to repeat that row this time. So that's the chain four at the beginning. 
one, two, three, four, turn, and then that's your chain, your half double crochet plus your chain two, and then you're gonna double crochet into these two stitches from row two, then you're gonna chain one, skip these stitches from row three, double crochet into these two, and just continue repeating that pattern. So double crochet into these two, and then you're going to chain two, skip the next two stitches, double crochet into the two stitches from the previous row, and repeat that until you get to the end. And then just like before, you end with a half double crochet worked in your turning chain. And now we're going to repeat row three. So we're gonna chain two, and then we're gonna double crochet in these two double crochet here. Then chain two, double crochet in these two. Chain two, double crochet. Then we're going to chain two, double crochet, and then work our half double crochet in the turning chain. To finish off our row. And you're just going to continue that, repeating rows two and three, until you have the size that you want. Now I've worked a couple more repeats of the pattern, just so that you can kind of see how it starts to look. But now I want to show you how to finish off this stitch. So you can see here your top row, regardless of which row repeat you're on, you're going to have these gaps here. Wherever you have a chain two space, of course, you're going to have those gaps because that's what you're working over um, when you work your double crochet stitches in the next row. And obviously, if you if this is your last row, you're not going to want it to look like that. So I'm going to show you how to do your final row so that you can close off these gaps. So to start with, I'm going to be um, I'm going to chain two for this half double crochet. Normally at the beginning of this row, I would chain four because I would be doing a chain two for half double crochet plus two chains to get over here to where I would then work the double crochets. But we're going to work in these stitches. So basically for your final row, what you're going to do is everywhere that you would have worked a chain, you are instead going to work a half double crochet. And then everywhere where you would work a double crochet, you're still going to work that double crochet. So we're going to chain two and then we're going to turn. And then what we're going to do is we're going to half double crochet in each of these two double crochet stitches. So half double crochet and then half double crochet. And then now we're to where we are going to work our double crochets in the row before. So we're going to do that just like we would in any other row. So we're going to double crochet in that stitch and double crochet in the next. And now instead of working our chains, we're going to half double crochet in these two stitches. So half double, half double. And now we're back to where we're going to work our double crochets. So we're gonna go ahead and double crochet just like we did in all of the other rows in these two stitches. And then again, instead of working chains, we're going to half double crochet in these two. And you can see that what that does is by working the half double crochet that's a little bit shorter stitch, you're evening out that um, that final row, so you still get that filled in, that space, but you're working a shorter stitch than you are with the double crochet here, so it gives you a nice even flat edge. So go ahead and finish it off by working double crochet here, and in the next stitch, and then I'm going to half double crochet in my final three. So normally this would be a chain here, but we're working half double crochet, and then normally there'd be a chain here. And then we're finishing it off with a half double crochet like we normally would have anyway. And there you go. 
you've got your little sample of the block or bloke stitch. I have two patterns available on my website that use this stitch. There's the blanket here. And then I also have a dishcloth pattern that also uses this stitch. So if you want to try out a pattern using this stitch, you can find those on my website, fivelittlemonsters.com.